Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Query Training Session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to write a query to identify n consecutive date records from a table. So let's get started. So I'm working with this fact sales table. It has a column called order date and this order date has values of dates as you can see there are some consecutive dates so for example from the 1st of April till 4th of April you have entries for all these four consecutive dates but then there's a gap and the next entry is for 9th of April so our scenario is going to be to be able to identify n consecutive date records which can be like three consecutive dates four consecutive dates or whatever is our count that we want to take of the consecutive date records so how we can do this, let's get started. The very first step to do this is to generate a row number column for each of these date records. So we are going to order this table or these records by this date column and then we are going to assign a row number to each of those columns or each of those records. So how we can do that is simply by using the row number function. Now the row number function is an aggregate function. So this is the syntax that you have to follow for that. You have to write over and then in round brackets you have to you can partition by if you have a partitioning column for example you might be having a scenario where you are trying to find that uh, any records or for how many consecutive days did a customer made an order or made a yeah made an order so in that case you would be grouping by the customer column but in our case we are just having the order date column so we don't have a partition by column so we are going to just write the order by clause here yeah, and order by this date column and then we're going to give this column a name called rn now if i run this query what i would get in the output is a row number column which has consecutive values or sequential values for each of these columns so till 4th of april you have the row number as 4 for 9th of april you have the row number as 5 and so on now what I want to do is I want to count these first four records as n consecutive records or consecutive records. So these should come up as four consecutive records. Now to be able to count any of these records I need a column to have constant values for all these four records. So to create that column what logic I'm going to use is that I'm going to subtract this row number from this order date column. So if I subtract one so in terms of days, I'm going to subtract one day from this order date column. So this is 1st of April. If you subtract one day, you are going to get 31st of March. Now, if I subtract two days from the next date value, which is 2nd of April, again, I'm going to go back by two days, which is going to be the 31st of March. And similarly till the 4th of April. So all these four consecutive records are now going to have the same base value. And then I can do a count on those records. So this is what I'm going to do. So we are going to modify our query a little bit and add a date add function, which is basically going to calculate a difference. But as a requirement is that we want to subtract a certain number of days from a date column, we are going to use this function. So the way a date add function works is that you write date add function then you specify uh, whether you want to subtract days or years or months so in, in our case it is days so we are just going to put a d for that and then you have to specify what is that value of days that you want to subtract so how many days you want to subtract uh, that is calculated by this calculation that we just did so we have to remove this alias over here and then you have to specify your date column from which you want to subtract those uh, many number of days. So our column name is order date and that is what we are going to write here. All right, so let's put this as, um, let's call it as column one. All right, and now let's run this query. So if we execute this query, what we are going to get over here is, oh sorry, so you have got some arbitrary random result over here. So what you have got is 
it is actually added so because it's a date add function but our requirement is to subtract so that we have the same base value on which we can perform a count so what you need to do here is put a minus sign over here so that it actually goes and subtracts from the order date these many number of days so now if we run this query you will see that all the consecutive records have got the same base value so till the 4th of April your base value now becomes 31st of March as soon as you move on to 9th of April your base value becomes 4th of April so you have three consecutive records till here then you have another set of records starting from the 13th of April and so on so now if I want to find out how many consecutive records appear, I know that I can count on this column because they have the same base value. So I can perform a count on this column. So that is what I'm going to do. So for that, I need this to be kind of a subquery. So instead of having it as a subquery, I'm going to define it as a CTE table, common table expression. So let's just call it CTE. And this is going to be our CTE. Now, and you have to put an as. All right. So now this becomes a common table expression on which I can write some select queries. So now I'm going to do a count on the CTE that I just created. So simply, I'm going to do a count on this column, the derived column that we created and we called it as column one so I'm going to do a count on column one and then I need to select an order date value so I can decide whether I want to see the minimum value over here so I can see first of April which will tell me that uh, from the 1st of April, effective from the 1st of April, there were four consecutive records or I can choose to display the maximum value of the series which could be 4th of April. So let's say we go with the minimum value. So just put the minimum and the column name is going to be order date from because we are selecting it from the CTE and then we need to group by because we have used these aggregation functions. So we need to group by our column 1. Okay, so instead of doing a count of column one here, you have to do a count of star. Okay, so now if you run this query, okay, let's give it some names count star as count minimum order date as let's say order date OD. And now if I execute this query, you will get a count and you'll get the first date of that series. So starting from the 1st of April, we know that there are four consecutive date records. From the 9th of April, there are three consecutive date records and so on. So you can even add a max over here so you would know the start date of the range and the end date of the range. Okay, so if you execute this, so you would know that the range, your range is from first of or your end consecutive date records are from the 1st of April to the 4th of April, from the 9th of April till the 11th of April and so on, right? So you can do this as well. Now, let's say we want to filter this. So we want to filter this. Uh, okay, let's give them proper name first as start date as and date all right okay so let's say we want to only see those records for which we had a range of uh, greater than three so which basically means our scenario is that we're trying to find out uh, n or consecutive date records at least for which at least three consecutive date records appeared so only those records we want to see and not these ones which have a count of one which means there was only uh, one consecutive date record or two consecutive date records all right so now i need to do apply a filter over here so to apply that filter again i'll have to create this as a subquery so select uh, let's say again sd and ed from this table so make let's make this a sub table and then we, uh, we can apply a clause where 
uh, count is greater than equal to at least three so for which we have at least three consecutive date records only those ranges I want to see now okay okay you have to give this some name alias first as let's say table A and if you just run it this will work okay so now you're able to see those ranges for which you have got at least three consecutive date records and this is the start date of that range and this is the end date of that range so this is how you can find out n consecutive date records from a table in the next video we'll see how we can write a sql query to identify if there are any gaps in these date records in the table so stay tuned for that but before that i hope that you found this video useful if you did then please do not forget to like comment and share this video and also please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel because many more videos will be posted soon thanks a lot for watching goodbye